Hello my lovelies, welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. We are, and I say we because it's me and Kat, my good friend Kat here on YouTube. We're doing this Influencer Week collaboration and today's video is called not tipping me over, uh-uh, we're not gonna buy it. Anything that's been, you know, we've been seeing around a lot on social media, YouTube, Instagram, wherever, and they're super popular, but uh-uh, we're not getting tipped over, we're not getting influenced, we're not adding it to our collection. Not sure if it's luckily or unluckily, there's not that many items that I have on this list. Maybe it's unlucky because if there were more items that I won't buy, then I won't be spending that much money constantly. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's get started with my first, very first item that I wanted to mention is the Givenchy Antigona bag. Mini, small, medium, large, it doesn't matter. This is a bag that I've seen around for many years actually. It's still very popular. It was more popular before, I think. It's one of those very structured, almost looks like a speedy type of bag. Just the way you have to get in and out and the fact that you have to zip around, it's not my jam. Personally, it just does nothing to me. I think it's too structured, too boxy. Uh, it doesn't matter the, what the size is because even the mini size, as cute as it looks, just the fact that the opening is very constricting. Mm, I don't know, like the handles being very, very uh, structured and just sticking up like that. And it reminds me a lot of the Speedy. I know they're different, but it just reminds me a lot of the Speedy. And already the fact that I don't use my own Speedy, I, I know that it's not for me. So mm -mm, not adding it to my collection, not anytime soon. Probably never, but um, it's a beautiful bag. It's just not for me. The second item that I wanted to mention is the Yves Saint Laurent Lulu bag. Personally speaking, I have nothing against the bag. It looks very classic. I have a lot of mini flaps. Uh, I have the Coco handle. I have the Chanel 19. It's not the same, but it's just kind of similar for me, practically speaking. If I had the Lulu bag, I don't know if I'll reach for it because I'd, I'd just go for one of my classic flap. I definitely want my Cosper wear for my expensive Chanel bags, right? So I just feel like it's cute It's and it's it looks very practical and I'm sure it's amazing, but it's just not a bag that I feel like I need it in my collection. So therefore, I'm not tipping over. And in fact, speaking of the Lulu bag, they also this year came out with the puffer version. This year, puffy bag is all the rage. Chanel 19, I have one. I love the trend, but the YSL one is just not my jam. I don't know, there's just something about it that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tipped over at all. Like I, I think I appreciate it and I, I, I also appreciate the fact that it's a fraction of the cost of the Chanel but sometimes you just gotta get exactly what you want. If you want the Chanel 19, do not settle. But if you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Go for an alternative, especially if you like the trend. Ooh, the next one is a good one and it is the Dior saddlebag. This bag is either a love or a hate relationship. I honestly appreciate fashion in any way or form. Um, it, they can be ridiculously looking, but it, someone will like it. Someone will rock it. I think a lot of people actually make it look so nice, especially now that it's modernized. Lots of different accessories that you can hook on it, especially those big, thick straps. Extra cool. I really appreciate it, but it's just not for me. Not if I have to buy it with my own money, to be very honest. Like, sometimes I, I think about these scenarios. I mean, obviously I only dream about it. It's probably not gonna happen, but let's say I become one of those top influencers and I get gifted one. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, I don't discriminate fashion, but it's not gonna be a bag that I feel like I'm gonna grab and go with it. It's just a bag that I wear for fashion and for looks and for photographs, but not for uh, me investing money in. The multi pochette is as far as I would go for something trendy looking. However, I can come up with 10 different reasons why the multi pochette is a lot better as an investment, at least for myself, personally speaking, and style-wise as well. And last but not least, it is all the micro bags, like the tiny little, tiny dinky little ones that is the size of a pill bottle. Like, they're so ridiculously small, especially made famous by Jacquemus. They started making them in a more decent size, but like now they just have these super tiny ones that honestly they don't fit anything. I don't even know what you would put in it. Even if you were to put AirPods in it, you have to remove the AirPods from the case to put in it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I do not discriminate fashion. I think it's super cute. If I had all the money in the world, I would only buy it to 
take photographs with because they serve no function practically speaking whatsoever i mean the only function that they serve as is fashion it's just fashion period so <laughs> Nope, not tipping over. I'm not gonna invest my own money in getting them. If I get gifted one, sure, I'll rock it. I'll I'll wear it, I'll take photographs with it. I'll even wear it and put a pill in it or something. I don't know, I have to find something to put in it. An earring for sure, maybe like a ring, I don't know. But then I don't wanna lose my earring, so. I, I just I just don't see the point in those bags. So that's pretty much it for my list It's actually even shorter. It's the shortest of all three videos Like I said, this is a collaboration week if you haven't checked out my other two videos Please go check it out and of course Please check out my collaborators video cat L if I've mentioned you please consider yourself tagged and um, If any of you want to do this video, please go ahead and do it and let us know so that we can watch it Please keep this video topic alive. Thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. Give us thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye